I make tribute. Long scripted videos covering various games, people, and Skylanders. It's it's its own category at this point. These videos have time and time again neared an hour in length, take days to produce, and overall are quite the experience in front of and behind the scenes. So I wanted to give you a little look into what it takes to make these videos because oh boy, it's a journey. The videos I make take a lot of effort, but honestly it just takes one viewing of like Jay Aubrey, or Hex Natalie, or Yes Theory, or Lixian TV, or Game Theory, or Offline TV, or okay so it's not really hard to make my videos, but the tributes could be comparable to like early Jay Aubrey. It really just takes a little bit of experience, some editing skills, and a lot of patience. Overall I can condense it into a 5 step plan starting with step 1 having history. This is the easiest and shortest step, find something you could talk about an hour for. Like with something like Skylanders or Cory Extension, it's obvious, I have a pretty distinct history watching and playing with these topics. However, something like Bo Burnham was certainly a last minute decision after watching Inside four times over the course of summer. That and I had a lot of trouble finding a topic for that month's tribute. Sometimes I also just stumble across ideas like Bo Burnham and Plants vs Zombies. After like a week of getting back into the original and getting recommended some videos about it, I just decided to click onto my notes app and write down a title for that video. And my next tribute randomly came to me in the middle of watching an hour long video breakdown of its lore, so yeah, the first step is just having been alive for at least a decade pretty much. The next step is nearly just as easy by the way, it's just finding something about that topic to talk about. Recently it's really just become me covering the history of creators or games, however in instances like my Subnautica or Hey X Natalie videos, they cover just generally the aspects I found special to that topic. So it's often just me doing research to find something about the thing I'm going to talk about. To talk about. And speaking of research, that's the next and biggest step. And this doubles as the step that I call the takeover. It's basically this huge stretch of like three weeks where my entire life at home is completely taken over by whatever I'm making a video over. When I made my Bo Burnham video, oh boy you should have seen my YouTube recommended. Basically every song I listened to that month was made by him. And I learned a lot about a lot. My Unisonics video saw me spending my last days of school spent alone in my room regrettingly searching for deleted Unisonics videos. I also literally couldn't tell you what songs not made by Dua Lipa I listened to in December, but I can absolutely give you an entire breakdown of IDGAF. Anyways, like I said, the research takes up most of the process. It's not the most difficult, depending on the amount necessary, but it takes the most time by far. On average, taking up three of the four weeks it takes to make these. I usually get my information from places like YouTube or Wikipedia because my videos aren't in-depth enough to warrant loads of research. However, with cases like Bo Burnham, Unisonis, and even areas in the Hey X Natalie video, I had to venture outside of these sources to find stuff like the Unisonis fan page. So after all of that, it's time to gather all of that footage to edit. Every single background clip, every piece of audio, footage, text, image, and whatever else I'm forgetting, I have to get. And that doesn't mean just record for 30 minutes and download for a few seconds. I have an iPad. So that means in order to edit, I have to screen record every single clip and then export it to edit it. And now, once you've wasted an entire day or two, you can begin editing. When it comes to recording my voiceover, however, it's honestly my least favorite part because I just sit there for an hour, like, I don't know, it's, it's so boring. The writing, by the way, is the best part, followed by the editing, of course. It's just fun when it isn't iMovie. But yeah, after the research, I just write down way too much over the course of way too little time. And then I put the hundreds of elements I got into Google Drive to put onto my computer, then into Premiere, and then I edit the whole thing. Anyways, before I get to the end of this whole process, it kind of dawned on me that maybe you came here not for the process, but rather literally how, like what apps, technology, etc. So it all starts with YouTube and the Notes app. Although I would suggest something like Google Docs over this, I just kind of got used to this instead. Here's a little video of what the entire Dua Lipa video script looks like. Even with the description, yeah. It's a lot, and only like half the length of that Bo Burnham one. Anyways, once I'm done writing, I record with these nearly broken Siberia headphones. And it's all done in OBS. If you've got money to waste though, I would absolutely suggest Sony Vegas Pro or something like that over this. I've just had so many audio issues. You might not, but... 
just don't risk it. Anyways, I use this Alienware PC, this Corsair mouse, and this new Bengu keyboard I got that I really like. Although this shift key is just... Anyways, I edit videos in Premiere Pro. If you want a mobile editor, I would have suggested Video Leap like a year ago, but it's gotten so, so much worse with every single update, so you might have to settle with... <laughs> but you're never gonna believe this. My thumbnails? All made on my iPad. In Photo Leap. It's actually an alright app, even without paying for the premium part. Anyways, it's all done. You've researched, written, edited, and exported. Now, after making one of these weird titles in your files, you can upload it onto YouTube. And that's it. Paste your description, upload the title and thumbnail, add it to a playlist, make a shit ton of keywords and tags, and then wait. That's about it. It's done now. The final step is just sitting there for hours on end, wasting away while you connect self-worth with useless statistics. Now you too can be a YouTuber. Make sure to smash that like button.